baby, I do. I miss you too many nights. I miss your colorful lights. I think I love you too much. I miss your blueberry eyes. Falling deeper, cold on ice. I'm too scared. from Jim Crush's house, okay? I'm not gonna lie. I basically go to his apartment every weekend. I think I'm ready to show you guys him if you guys are ready. So if you guys wanna see Jim Crush, like, let me know. If you guys remember, one year ago, I moved back into my parents' house and now that I've been living here for so long, I have done so much healing that I feel like I'm a new person. I have been traveling and I've been learning so much about myself that I feel like I have turned into someone new. I feel like my style has changed. I look different, I feel different, I talk different. I don't know. I just feel so good. I have been so obsessed with the color yellow And one thing about me is if I get some intuitive hit from the universe saying you like yellow wear yellow eat yellow I'm gonna do it like let me feed into this thought this voice my intuition Watch what happens when you listen to your intuition and yellow just expresses me in some way that I can't describe Like I feel so happy I've been doing my nails yellow wearing yellow clothes and I bought a whole bunch of clothes from Poshmark And I've been thrifting and I bought a lot of yellow stuff right now. I'm in a like alchemizing era I went from somebody with mental health issues, anxiety, depression, somebody that was so lost had absolutely no direction with life and now I have direction, a sense of confidence, higher self-esteem and that is freaking priceless. So hopefully watching my videos helps you guys tap into that too but because I'm alchemizing and I'm really just like turning into somebody new, I did some shopping. I'm in an era of wanting to invest in clothes that are better quality that will last me longer and I've been really into like an older money type of aesthetic. Classy Demure girl but uh, I bought some new clothes that I feel like I can layer that was either thrifted or from Poshmark So let's do a little haul. So like I said, I did some shopping I think I understand my color analysis a lot more now or like my color palette because when I came back from France I noticed that a lot of the colors I was wearing in France actually looked so good with my hair and my like skin complexion And the clothes that I was wearing beforehand were very bright But they just didn't match my skin as like fluidly if that makes sense like yellow oh, I love yellow on me. It's my favorite color on me now and I also love like neutrals browns so yeah let's do the haul so I got this purse here and it's like a wine color totally perfect for fall I also got these sunnies while thrifting they're so cute perfect color I've been loving like an oversized sunny I think it just makes me look more classy and it definitely gives more of like a European style which I love 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 somebody commented like oh my god Sandy's still in her Paris era like y'all Paris changed my life it changed my identity my heart Paris fashion overall fashion period I also got this purse here so cute I love thrifting at the store called Queenie and Pearl in Minneapolis. I also got this yellow purse. I thought it was gonna be more of like a pale yellow. It came out much more bright, but I still think that it's really cute. I'm more into like a yellow, like the one I'm wearing here or like this one. This is a top I got from Poshmark and it's from BB. I used to love BB on my mom. My mom used to shop there like all the time. That was like her favorite store. And my entire childhood, I would be like, oh my God, I can't wait to grow up and wear BB. And then when I got older, BB wasn't a store anymore. But thankfully you guys can find all their stuff on like Poshmark secondhand but if you look closely this has like cute iridescent stuff at the bottom I got these black leather shorts imagine this with like black tights or something I think this would be a really cute essential for fall time this is an Arden B short like these jeans here I got them from Arden B they feel like really good quality and if you look there's like a boot cut I really love that and it's low waisted and the wash is perfect for fall time another pant from Arden B so these are basically like white trousers classy girls wear pants like this I got this blue stripe button up i wore this the other day it's so cute if you just add like a little clip to the back you can make it fitted it looks freaking amazing i got this bb button up it's a knit sweater definitely classy girl vibes i also got this bb glasses holder my glasses holder is kind of ugly so i just thought it would be nice to have one that i actually enjoy so i'll be giving my old one to my brother i got these black capris they're an essential and oh my god guys look at these these are the cutest freaking heels i've ever seen yellow adorable kitten heels and we have this 
brown knit off shoulder. Super cute. I got this jean skirt. Imagine wearing this with like very high knee boots or something. I think that would be a look. Lastly, I got this jean jacket. I've been seeing so many girls wear this on Pinterest. This is not thrifted. I actually bought it from Lioness. You guys can find it on like Revolve. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna keep this forever. In this new era of me, I am investing in clothes that I will keep for a lifetime. So yeah, that's my haul. I cannot wait to wear this jacket. So the other day, I was decluttering my closet. One basket here, one bin there, one bag back there, and then this little bag right here. And so all of these are clothes that I know I'm not gonna wear. I'm just gonna go ahead and give it to my cousin because I know she's gonna wear all of it. bamboo guys i gotta water her i bought her from walmart like three years ago i think and i've been taking care of her since and she was dead when i got her and now she is so healthy i'm not even kidding i'm pretty sure she grew like three to four extra inches and there's not a single dead leaf guys she's literally thriving so today's tuesday and my plans for today is to go to the gym it's my friend's birthday so later on i'm gonna go to a friend's birthday dinner not gonna lie guys i think zuri likes me the most in this house if you guys don't remember zuri is actually my brother's cat but she loves hanging out with me apparently when i was gone in new york she like barely came out like she was just hiding in the house somewhere and then when i came back lucky who came back not gonna lie though i do believe i'm an animal whisperer like animals love me and i truly believe i can talk to animals like zuri let's chit chat if you guys look over here i have so much skincare oh my gosh sorry i used to have like a little rack up here and it fell but i bought a new one so hopefully this next one is good i'm actually gonna nail it into my wall this time because the last one i got was just like a sticker and that's why it fell so hopefully it's cute it's gonna come in like a week so i gotta wait but my desk is so dirty y'all i can't even i can't it's not workable and then I almost just sat on her. I need my personal space. So I'm booking a hotel right now because I want to do this like specific sort of TikTok I found and I thought it was so cute. And I needed a hotel that was more like French aesthetic. And I actually was able to find one, which is crazy because y'all, I am from Minnesota. Anything with French architecture is really hard to find here. And I can actually sleep there, which I don't think I will because I heard it's haunted. We will be going there just for content. To be honest, I think any building in minnesota is very old and so it probably is slightly haunted that's okay guys i'm not actually sleeping there oh no not the other one yeah not you yeah, good boy, yeah. look how cute they are guys yeah. oh my gosh yes yeah, you yeah. don't poop mom it pooped <laughs> you I'm gonna go to the gym guys, but I'm wearing my Lululemon jacket, Lululemon bra underneath, okay. And then I'm wearing my normal shorts that I got from AliExpress. These are so cute. I'll link them down below because they're literally like the only shorts I ever wear and they're the best. I am so tired. 
Like, like my legs are like jelly. Okay, guys, so I am so exhausted and tired. Oh my gosh. The other day, I went to a restaurant and guess what I found? I found this card and it says Intuitive Guide for Business and Life. And then if you look at the back, it literally says Oracle Charm and there's like a cute little charm. And I thought this was like the cutest little card ever. And for spiritual girlies, I'm like, this is so fun. I feel like I don't necessarily need this, but it would be so fun to hop on that call and just have a cute little chat about ideas and stuff and also just supporting a small business right and so i called her and our call is in 25 minutes there are a few ideas that i've been wanting to do and it would be really nice to just get another perspective but from a spiritual perspective literally the whole reason for existence for me is to learn and grow and become the best version of myself and i have found that one of the best ways to do that is to constantly always do what you love like that's the most simple thing and so if you guys are over there like i don't know what my purpose is i don't know what to do with my life well let me just ask you what excites you the most in the whole world what excites you if you know the answer to that then i ask what is the highest form of expression for that excitement and that's what you should be chasing and if you don't know what excites you the absolute most in the world that's totally okay because the fun part is that you get to go out and you get to explore and figure it out me personally i feel like i've always kind of known what i've loved to do as a kid like i love creating content living in my inner child having fun and doing things that just bring me an excitement feeling and also i love to inspire people so i feel like when i was young i figured that out which is why i do youtube and i've done it literally my whole life it's my only job i've ever had it's because i love to do it genuinely living in excitement is actually much easier than we think it is but the only reason a lot of us don't live in excitement is because we have fears hindering us from stepping into our highest potential your fears are limiting you so if you feel like oh i like this but i can't do it it's not that you can't do it it's that you have ways of thinking that are hindering you from your own happiness it's really that like you are your own enemy and that's why self-development self-growth learning and just up leveling is so important to me because i don't want to live in fear i don't want to be a scaredy cat so hopefully this inspires you to be brave literally my motto for this year is be brave do it do it do it i keep telling myself do it do it do it which is why i did my speech which is why i booked my trip to paris i went to new york and being brave doesn't have to be so crazy being brave could be the smallest thing like signing up for a workout class or signing up for a class to teach you a new skill or something being brave doesn't have to be what you see online because we're all different and we all have different levels of things that scare us like for me traveling was scary but some people love traveling and it's not scary for them me speaking in front of people for a speech was scary but for some people that's nothing you have to just understand yourself and go from there because everyone truly is different <laughs> Hello guys, we're gonna go and have dinner. Kyle's birthday. Yes, I got ready at Sam's, but I didn't record myself. So we're gonna go have a good dinner. Oh my gosh, she's oh right there. God. Hey! Let's go have some good food. We're eating at Kaluna, by the way, y'all. Welcome to the club. We're gonna get drunk, y'all. It's gonna be crazy. It's, it's gonna, gonna be, be so crazy. crazy. We're gonna get shit-faced. It's Tuesday, yeah. 6 30. I'm just kidding! Yay! I'm gonna open it. I'm so excited. I love them so much. They're so cute. How so cute? Stop. Why do I have pretty friends? <laughs> you are a pretty friend. We're gonna eat now, guys. Let's finish our drinks too. Like all of it? We're gonna try. Finish them? Yeah. Mine is so freaking strong. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> Mine is good. Mine is like a shot. That's why they're like huge and laughing. You guys want to try it? Is that what they do? I like your Mine is definitely stronger. Mine is 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 stronger. Hey guys, so 
I'm at Jim Crush's apartment right now. He's not home right now because he gave me fob access. Okay, guys. So I am princess and I'm just like relaxing on the bed and I'm comfy. He was here a bit ago, but he just left to go gym. Anyways, I was just thinking about just like how grateful I am for life. Recently, finding so much gratitude has taught me what gratitude really means. I think in the past, everybody would be like, oh, you have to be grateful and grateful. And I'm here like, how can I be grateful for something I'm not actually grateful for, right? And that's how I was. It's like, how can I be grateful for being in this position when it actually just feels terrible? But now I'm realizing like gratitude truly comes from being able to see the good even in the bad. For example, like you guys know, I moved back in with my parents' house, which was a huge decision for me. By societal construct and even just like culture, everyone knows like when you reach a certain age, when you move out, you usually just don't come back but intuitively i felt like i needed to i needed that grounding my mental health was the worst it's ever been like in my whole life like i wanted to die and i had to go back to my parents because i knew that i just needed to be grounded so that i can focus on my mental health so during those times gratitude was just not something i experienced very often i bring this up in my podcast all the time but like you guys know i went to coachella and i went there all expenses paid trip and i just did not enjoy it and i enjoyed it to a level but there was also this other piece of me that just felt like what's missing this was my dream like to go on a trip with the brand yet why am i not so happy i think it's because i didn't realize like gratitude is about being able to find the good even in the bad and whenever there's bad things happening things that you just don't expect obviously like it's hard to see the good it's hard to like the situation it's hard to just feel good but now i'm in a position where i want to have a growth mindset about every single thing i hate being the victim i don't want to be victim anymore i don't want to live in a place where i feel like life is happening to me not me choosing life if that makes sense i hate complaining and now i don't do that because every time something doesn't go to plan i experience it and i ask myself what is this truly teaching me and when you can understand that every single thing is a lesson and truly trust that in this lesson you are learning something so fucking divinely important that it's going to lead you somewhere even greater and better it is just so much easier to be like wow i'm going through something hard but like truly trust it's happening for a reason like the gratitude is there because you know that when there's something hard something bad something dark the light is always at the end of the tunnel every single time i have faced hardship the reason i'm able to see gratitude now is because i have been able to find love compassion self-growth self-development spirituality at the end of it every fucking time that's why every time something doesn't go to plan i'm not afraid my self-esteem doesn't go down i'm not going to die because i know that this is just a roadblock into something even greater that is why failure is so important every time you fail and you get yourself back up you get stronger every single time you build courage you build bravery self-confidence you build self-identity Entity because honestly growth comes from failure like that shit actually develops your character so much and so if you're going through something hard right now i swear like trust the process because with darkness there's always light yin and yang there can't be one without the other if there's this great life you're meant to experience and it's so beautiful the reality is you're going to have to experience the very opposite because how would you know how good feels like if you've never actually experienced it bad everything is duality there is a paradox to everything if you want to experience a very happy and loving life you have to know what an unhappy and unloving life even feels like to know what a happy and loving life feels like right so if you're going through something hard trust that this is your polarity moment this is your moment of experiencing the dark because the good times are coming that's what balance is not one without the other anyways i am gonna go ahead and head to bed i had such a good time with tao and sam but yeah yeah, i will see you guys tomorrow i am gonna sleep so good every time i'm at gym crush's place i have my kindle my journal and i just have my favorite cup of coffee and it's just such a good time every single time i love being here seriously but you guys are gonna meet him soon because i want to make a video with him i think that'd be really funny and i feel like i've lived like this double life recently because i spend all my time either with gym crush or like i'm always at home and so i feel like not showing this other side of my life is like 
weird like i'm lying to you guys i don't know i am always at both places so i'm gonna incorporate him in my videos more i think that'd be really interesting to see and plus i always vlog my life anyways i'll see you guys tomorrow good night woke up this is my morning voice even though his apartment is very like boy apartment i don't know why i just have so much fun being here maybe because i don't have to do so much everything is kind of just like simple and it just allows me to just relax but gym crush allowed me to have my own little coffee area so i've just been making coffee here whenever i sleep over like y'all i act like i live here <laughs> I put my coffee in this because I don't have like a proper place to put it but I usually just make my own cold brew the coffee maker he has doesn't make iced coffee so I have to pre-make my coffee cold like I just make the coffee and then I put it in the fridge just because if I make the coffee hot then I feel like the ice melts so fast and then the drink gets super watery white mocha creamer Chobani milk just the smallest bit of vanilla Boom. Ooh. Just to let you guys know, my brother is getting married. And my brother, he is younger than me, if you guys don't know. But yeah, my brother just got engaged. As you guys know, I'm Hmong. So we have like Hmong traditions when it comes to weddings. And so since my brother proposed, he has to what we call bring her home. Which means like there's this whole procedure where he goes and he picks her up from her home. And like there's this thing where you like negotiate for your wife in the Hmong tradition. And you do have to pay for your wife in the Hmong tradition and then he'll like pick her up and then we go back to our house and basically have like this feast like this little party to celebrate like hey like welcome home and then the Hmong wedding will happen whenever they decide but it's probably gonna be really soon in the American culture there's an engagement and then the wedding happens whenever you want it right but you're engaged but in the Hmong culture there's not really like an engagement period it's if you want to get married to her and you're gonna ask for her hand then the wedding's gonna happen soon but yeah it's so crazy my brother's getting married before me like i'm 23 turning 24 in march and my brother is 21 he turns 22 this year but i don't know it's just crazy wake up call like holy shit i'm getting old and my brother i can't believe he's getting married before me but like i low-key can believe it tell me why everybody always goes up to him and they're like when are you guys getting married <laughs> and nobody asked me that <laughs> you guys know how there's like those tiktoks where it's like every family has that daughter that makes bad choices bad relationship and doesn't have her shit together has a shopping addiction like fuck that's me i'm just kidding my time will come meanwhile i'm like at a boy's house but i hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog i'm so sorry if you guys felt like today's video was so talky but not gonna lie all i want to do these days is yap with y'all i'm in my yapping era so if you feel like i'm talking too much i don't know what to tell you but thanks for watching guys i'll see you guys next week bye Mwah.